Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply and modify slide transitions. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a presentation open here and it has five slides. Now transitions are motion effects that occur between slides in the slideshow view. So when you give a presentation, your screen has to go from one slide to another slide. Now by default, your screen will just uh, change to that slide and nothing really in between will happen. But you can actually choose a transition to make that transition look a little bit more uh, well done. Okay, now some of these transitions transitions are going to be very subtle and some of them are going to be kind of extravagant and some of them may not even have a use case but PowerPoint or Microsoft I guess puts it on here nonetheless so let's take a look at how to apply transitions the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll choose the slide in which you want the transition to occur and I'll show you what that means in just a moment but I'll just choose slide one for now and then I'll go to the transitions tab on the transitions tab, you'll see a gallery of transitions right below in the transition to this slide group. Now, as you look through your gallery, in the very bottom right of the gallery, you're gonna see the more button. And the more button will allow you to see all of the transitions that you have on PowerPoint. And this will allow you to pick a special effect for the transition between the previous slide and this one. So there is no slide before slide one. So this will be how slide one appears on the slide. So to do that, I'm gonna click on more. <clears throat> And after I choose more, you'll see a list of uh, different options. You'll see subtle, exciting, and dynamic content. Just a brief overview on these three. Subtle is probably your best bet for keeping your presentations professional. If you are going to change between one uh, slide to another, typically you don't want people talking about your um transitions more than the actual content of your presentation, right? You don't want them saying, hey, did you see that transition between those slides? That was weird. You want them to not even talk about your transitions at the end, but you do want them to appear as professional as you switch between your slides. So let's take a look at push. And as I click on push, which is the fourth one under subtle, you'll see that it just pushes the presentation on this, on, onto the uh, slide window or onto the slideshow view just like that. And I'm clicking it again in the transition to this slide group, just to see how that looks. You could also click preview over here to see how it looks as well. That's probably the better option. So by clicking push, you now see how it will appear on the slideshow once that slideshow is shown. Now we could go over here to the timing group on the right side to further customize our slides or our slide transitions rather. Now in the timing group, you'll see here that you have an option that says apply to all. Now what apply to all does is it applies the current slide transition and all of its effects, timing settings to the entire presentation. So you'll see, maybe you noticed this, maybe you didn't, but below the one over here on your slide thumbnail area, there's a star. That star lets you know that a transition is applied to that slide or to get onto that slide rather. What, and you'll see slide two, three, four, and five do not have the star below it, meaning there's no current transition applied to that or to those ones. If I go to the timing group and I click apply to all, watch what happens below two, three, four, and five. They all have stars appearing before them now. And so if I go to slide two and I hit preview, you'll see that it goes from slide one to slide two. Therefore, that push transition has been applied to each of them. Looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to slide one and let's go to the transitions tab and go to the preview group and click preview. And again, we'll notice that it goes from a black screen to slide one on that one. That black screen is nothing other than when the presentation begins. So before the first slide will always be a blank black screen. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go to is I wanted to show you um, what the slideshow will look like. And so I'll go here to slideshow. Okay, and let's go to start slideshow from, and I'm gonna click from beginning. And you'll see it just pops up just like that. And as I click to go to the next slide, it will go to the next one. And so this is a good transition between these slides. As I get to the end, which is slide five, you'll see that I now have reached the end of the slideshow and I can click to exit. 
You could also press escape at any time to leave your slideshow. Again, I explained that kind of fast, but to get to your slideshow, you go to the slideshow tab, the start slideshow group, and you click from beginning to view it from the beginning. Let's go to slide two and customize this one a bit further. Slide two is right here. On slide two, let's go to the transitions tab once more and look in the transition to this slide group. And let's choose a different transition for this one. Let's hit the more button and we'll choose the one just to the left of push, which is called fade. And I click fade. Let's see how this changed our presentation. I go to the slideshow tab, start slideshow group, and I'm gonna choose from beginning. You'll see that slide one is pushed in. Slide two is where we applied fade though. So we should see this slide fade away and the new slide appear. There we go, just like that. Looks good. We go through all of these slides. We see that the rest are push, and then we are done. The reason fade wasn't applied to all of the slides is because in the transitions tab, the timing group, we never clicked apply to all. So fade only appears for slide two. Let's go down to slide five. On slide five here, on the transitions tab, in the timing group, the next thing I wanted to show you is duration. Duration is currently set to one second, but I'm gonna increase this to five. One, and I'll just hold up on this and it'll eventually get up to five. You could also type in 05.00 to change that to five seconds. And this will make it so that the push transition takes five whole seconds to appear on this page. So timing group, you can also change the duration. If I go to the slideshow tab, start slideshow group, and I click from beginning, you'll see slide one pushes in, slide two will fade in, slide three pushes in, slide four pushes in, and slide five, it's gonna take five seconds for this to push in, watch. One, two, three, four, five. And that's probably a bad, or an example of how a bad transition would look. Because if you're giving this presentation in a professional setting, obviously you don't want the <laughs> viewers in most cases to wait five seconds for your slide to appear. So that would be an example of a bad transition. Continuing on, I'm going to show you how to advance slides automatically. Let's go back to slide two where we had that fade transition. And let's go back to the transitions tab. And let's go to the timing group here. In the timing group, you're going to see the advanced slide area on the right side. And currently I have this set to advance on mouse click. That's how I've been advancing all the slides, simply by clicking on my mouse. But on this one, I'm gonna turn that off. And now I'm gonna say, you know what, advance after five seconds. And right here on the after area, I hit the up arrow five times. And that means that this one will advance automatically after five seconds. Now, this is something that you don't want to do if you're giving a presentation where you speak. That's because you'd have to time everything perfectly as you go through your slides. So when do you think this might be useful? Well, if you thought about it and you figured it out, it's probably useful for things like photo albums and um, menus at restaurants and those types of things. So by creating a PowerPoint presentation that advances automatically, you could set it up to advance every slide automatically and then repeat or loop at the end. This is probably something you've seen at weddings or some parties, um, things like that, where it advances through a photo gallery. This could be also like at a graduation. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like now. Let's go ahead and view the presentation from the beginning. Let's go to the slideshow tab, the start slideshow group, and I'll do from beginning. Now the first one I have set to click, so I'll have to advance this by clicking. This one now is gonna advance automatically after five seconds. You can see in the bottom right, my hands are up. It's been about five seconds. It went automatically, how about that? So that has now been set to uh, advance automatically. Now the rest of them are still set to on click. And so you'll see that one. Oh boy, there's that five second one. What a blast waiting for that. Then we move on and we're ready now to take a look at some of the more wacky ones here. I couldn't make a video without going over <laughs> some of my favorite transitions that I never use. And that's the transition to this slide group. We hit the more button, check out some of these. Let's do uh, curtains, look at that. Ooh, I, I kind of like that one. It just looks cool. Wind, some of these are really old. They've just been around forever. Wind, you have crush, that's a cool one. 
Make sure you put in the comment section your favorite. I would love to hear about that. Ooh, paper airplanes. How about origami, huh? Oh, fly away, little bird. You could also go to the effect options and make it fly to the left. Ooh, that's fun. You could also go to the duration and make it fly really fast. Bye. Or really slow. Oh, look how slow that bird is. Graceful. They have some other ones here. Dissolve. That's kind of fun. Oh. They have fall over. See you later. And some other ones. I'm sure I missed some of, maybe some good ones. Yeah. Ooh, Ferris wheel. Let's see how that looks. Oh, wow. How about that? All right, cool. So hopefully you had some fun times viewing those transitions. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. If you did learn a lot, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft PowerPoint, please go to my YouTube channel in which I have a playlist. All the videos are in order from easiest to most difficult concepts. So that should help you out. And um, other than that, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you again soon.